Only the evil diamond people, we ain't equal May the Lord slay the eagle, hey Check up my people, we got eat them Tryna bleed them, may the Lord take his wings away A little wine needs my mind May your highway help the blind see another day So don't be foolish to the movement Cause it's proven we the truest in the UPK And if I fall, my eyes swim My heart's my conscience, my arms inside this I'm like party plotting when I talk of prophets, Acts 17, 5. If I recall the violence, yeah, they all gon' die quick and we all gon' watch it. Yeah. So I'm calm as I said, nah, they can't stop it. Nah. See, I was trying to find my way, the devil's all up in my way. The devil real, can't you feel him breathing? Killing niggas for no reason, guess it's killing season. Shalom, y'all by Shimmy Al Shabarak Adam to all my brothers. Shalom, Yahweh Shamar Al Adam by Shimmy Al Shabarak to all my sisters. I'm Officer Makabi of the ISBK, and today I'm finna teach about sin. And um, I'm finna teach about a few aspects of sin. You know, like what's causing us to sin, what is sin, and how, you know, we can stop sin, alright? And that's, that's pretty much the main topic today. I'm finna bring out some few scriptures. And the very first scripture is, uh, 1 John 3 and 4. Alright? Go ahead and read 1 John 3 and 4. I'm finna talk about what is sin in transgression. Go ahead. 1 John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. Stop. Now, whosoever commits sin transgresses also the law. Read that one more time. Whoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. Also the law. Now, what is sin? Sin is the breaking of the law. Keep going. For sin is the transgression of the law. Now, what is transgression? Transgression is like the violation of a law. Like, okay, say, say you're on probation and you pretty much um, go against your probation. That would be a violation of your probation. That means you're in trouble. You broke the law. When a judge told you not not to smoke for a certain amount of days or not to drink or leave the house for a certain amount of days you violated that so when the Lord gives you a commandment or a law or statute to follow and you break it you're sinning and, then you, and, and when you violate it you transgress so transgression and sin is pretty similar alright so now that we know what sin and transgression is let's read it one more time with understanding read the whole thing from the top Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. There you go. So we know what sin is, and we know what transgression is, alright? Sin is the breaking of the law, and transgression is a violation of a law, a command, alright? A commandment. Go ahead and give me a uh, Matthew 5 and 19. Matthew Now, I'm going to give a, a few aspects of uh, how how uh, these certain people, I'm talking about who these people are, but these certain people causes uh, causes us to sin. Alright? Go ahead. Uh, Matthew 5 and 19. Go ahead. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach man so, he has been called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Now stop. Now this is this is for this is a good precept for you know these Christians. Because these Christians are the ones that teach that I mean some, some Christians say, yeah, you should keep the law, statutes, and commandments. You should follow God with all with all thine heart. But they are the same ones that do not keep the law, statutes, and commandments. And you want to know how I know? Because they are the ones getting shot up in the church. They are the ones being caught all over video, smoking, drinking, raping, molesting, and sleeping with these white women. All right, these other these other nations, which is a sin as well. Now these people that you look up to, like T.D. Jakes, uh, Cleffo Dollar, uh, Jesse Jackson, Martin Luther King, these people right here, these people are nothing but hypocrites. They sin, and they teach other people to sin as well. They are the reason why you are destroyed, and that you can't that you can't see. You can't see it because you're thinking they're wise, but they're not wise whatsoever. Keep going. But whosoever shall do and teach them. The same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Now, bef now, before I break that down, I want to say, the Christians are going to be the ones that's least in the kingdom of heaven, meaning last. While, while every righteous person is um, is in line to be in the kingdom, the Christians are going to be last. 
And, that, and that's crazy, man. It's crazy. But it is what it is because they sin. And they're teaching you to sin. Now read that one more time. The last part. The second part. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. And that's the IHPK. The men in the IHPK are going to be called the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Because us brothers, we teach other brothers and sisters to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. To keep all the high holy days and not these wicked man-made European holidays. Alright? They will be called the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Because also, they keep the law, statutes, and commandments as well. You could never find a video or any evidence of the IHPK not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. I ain't trying to boast, but the IHPK has never been exposed for anything. Alright? Everything that we do comes from the Bible and it is righteous. We teach brothers to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. And we do it ourselves as well. We are not hypocrites. But any other fake club, they're hypocrites. They sin. They don't preach what they do. Alright, go ahead and get uh, Proverbs 28 and 9. Now, next thing I'm going to touch on is why, is, is why, the reason why the Lord doesn't hear your prayers. Alright? Because, because a lot of people always talk about, how come the Lord doesn't hear my prayers? I'm going to show you why. It's very obvious, too. Go ahead and get that whenever you're ready. And what you got to understand is that sin is the reason why we are destroyed. It's the reason why we are cursed. You know what I mean? I mean, uh, uh, the reason why a lot of people are dying within our nation is because of sin. That's, that's, the, main, that's the main thing right there. Go ahead and get that. Proverbs 28 and 9. Evil man understand not judgment. Salaki, call out the scripture, please. The water. Proverbs 28, verse 9. What? Salaki. Go ahead. You could. Verse 5. Evil man understand not judgment, but days. Salaki, 9. Verse 9. Salaki. Yeah, you could. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abominations. Now the Lord said. That even a simple man that turns away from the Lord, his ear from the Lord, his, his prayer shall be abomination. Now, 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 I know we all have like relatives and stuff like that, like family members that always talk about, I got a whole bunch of health problems. I keep talking to the Lord. I keep praying to the Lord. I know I, I, know I do these things that I'm not supposed to, but he still doesn't answer my prayers. I know I have high blood pressure, but I just can't stop eating pork, but I still pray for him to heal me. Well, that, well, that's your problem right there. Because when a man of the Lord tells you the reason why you have high blood pressure so high to the point that you're going to die any second or any minute, it's because you're eating that pork. That pork is causing you to die. And by you trying to pray to the Lord, the Lord doesn't hear you. Because when the Lord told you not to eat pork in Leviticus... You didn't listen to him. So he's not going to listen to you when you cry out to him. I mean, why should the Lord listen to you? You're sinning. He told you. He doesn't have to repeat himself. All through the Bible, he tells you to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. He tells you not to eat swine. Not to eat shrimp. None of that disgusting stuff. He tells you this. But when you hear it, you're just, too, you're just too filled up with your lust. You love it too much not to stop eating it. And that's why the Lord is not hearing you because you haven't listened to Him. That's why you got high blood pressure. Alright? Go ahead and get uh, Romans 6 and 23. Now, if you want this to stop, all you got to do is follow what the Lord said. Then He'll, hit, then he'll listen to you. But until then, your, your prayer is an abomination. He doesn't hear you. It's sad to say, but it's true. So if you ever wonder why the Lord never heard your prayers, that's why. FYI. Go ahead. That's uh, Romans 6 and 23. Go ahead. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. For the wages of sin is death. This has to be like one of my favorite scriptures. And I'll tell you why. Because there's a lot of people out there that say, uh, like, like say, say for example, a drug dealer dies, right? Uh, within the family. He was well known, very famous, very popular, right? 
And a lot of people at the funeral always says, this is very unexpected. I'm, I'm surprised this happened to him. He was such a good kid. I know he sold drugs, but he, he used to babysit my daughter. He used to wash my car. But you have to understand that he was still sinning against the Lord. He may, he may, he may have seemed good, but it ain't such thing as a good man. Even Yahawashai said that. Only the Lord's good. You have to understand that the, the, the more you continue to sin, it's going to add up. So it's, it's pretty much like a math equation. Sin plus sin equals what? Your death. The more, the more you continue to sin, the closer you are to your death. And that's what happens when you sin. All you got to do is keep these laws, statutes, and commandments, and that's your life right there. It talks about how the scriptures is, is life. It's like the breath of life to you. Alright? So sin is death. That's, exa that's exactly what sin is as well. That's another definition for sin. It's death. So when you sin, you equal, it equals your death for you. So you have to stop sinning. Don't be surprised when you see a brother or sister dead. It's because they sin against the Most High. There's a reason behind it. You just have to understand and understand these scriptures to realize and know. With that being said, go ahead and get uh, Romans 13 and 11 for me. The water. See, you know, you know it, I mean, it, it blows my mind when I see people at funerals talking about such a good man, such a good woman. I don't understand why he died or she died. You know why. Stop, stop playing stupid with yourself. All right? Go ahead and get Romans 13 and 11. The water. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Mm -hmm. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Now, why, is, why does the scripture say it's high time to wake out of sleep? I'm going to give you a few seconds to think about it. The reason why is because, keep going. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Now, see, the IHBK has been teaching and preaching this for a long time because a black man by the name of Yahawashai, who you think is, I mean, Jesus Christ in English, but Yahawashai in ancient Hebrew, it's coming to save the children of Israel, uh, children of Israel, for those that are keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, not the ones that are sinning. All right? Yahawashai is coming to give us salvation. The Lord has gave us salvation. It's high time to awake because things is going on in the world, you know, um, that, I mean, things is getting worse in the world that we need to. Go ahead and uh, read that scripture one more time. Romans chapter 13, 11. verse 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Now the scriptures say it's high time to wake out of sleep. And the reason why is because, keep going. For now is our salvation near than when we believed. Now, a black man by the name of Yahawashai, who you think is Jesus Christ in the English, but Yahawashai in ancient Hebrew, he is coming to save the children of Israel, God's chosen people, not everybody. But he's coming to save those who keep the law, statutes, and commandments, not those who are not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, all right? So get that through your head. So, keep going. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Okay, stop. Now, the, the day is far spent. Time, time is running out, and the day is at hand for us to wake up out of this sleep, this slumber. It's time to stop hibernating. Hibernating, um, hi hibernating is for bears, all right? Polar bears. It's not for humans. You have to stop being asleep. Asleep. You know, you got to wake up to realize that the white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of. And that he is destroying you. And that Yahawashai is on his way. And when you're not right, by the time Yahawashai is, I mean, here, you're done deal. If you're sinning, you're done deal. You're, you're dead. Your head's chopped off. But if you're keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, you're just fine. Alright? Salvation will be for you. But it's only for the children of Israel. I'm going to keep on stressing that. Because everybody thinks that God loves everybody. No, but that's another topic. Alright, keep going. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. Let us cast off the works of darkness. Darkness in this, uh, in this scripture is talking about sin. Alright, wickedness. Let's cast off the works of sin. Stop sinning against the Most High. Stop doing the things 
that he told you not to do. Stop being hard-headed and stiff-necked. Stop smoking every day. Stop smoking, period. Stop drinking yourself to death every day. What you're doing, you're killing yourself. What I like to call it is you're committing your suicide. Stop killing yourself with all this stuff. And like the scripture says, for the wages of sin is death. So the more you continue to sin, you're going to be dead. All right? Keep going. And let us put on the armor of light. Let us put on the armor of light. And what that is, the armor of light, what the scriptures talks about, is the, is the law, statutes, and commandments. Because that gives you life. When you don't keep the law, statutes, and commandments, you are spiritually dead. But when you follow the law, statutes, and commandments, you are alive. You are born again. All right? That's what that means. Keep going. Let us walk honestly, as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness. Let us, let us not walk in the day of rioting and drunkenness. For you Black Lives Matter movements and all you other groups, whatever your name is, I really don't care what your name is, that's boycotting to get justice from a white man, stop rioting and stop being drunk. Because I know half of y'all be high when y'all go out there. Y'all be out in below zero trying to get justice from a white man. You're retarded. And each other. Only the evil down my people. We ain't equal. May the Lord slay the eagle. Hey. Jacob, my people, we got eat them trying to bleed them. May the Lord take his wings away. A little wine needs my mind. May your highway help the blind see another day. So don't be foolish to the movement, cause it's proven we the truest in the UPK. And if I fall, my eyes swim, my heart's my conscience, my all's inside this. I'm like party plotting when I talk of prophets, Acts 17, 5. If I recall the violence, yeah, they all gon' die quick and we all gon' watch it. So I'm calm as I said, no, they can't stop it.